Hey guys, welcome back. In the past, we've talked about line sets, how to order them, the type of lines that are available, but we've never talked about how do you know it's time to change your line set. So that's what we're talking about today. Okay, so we're gonna talk uh, about uh, how do you know when it's time to replace your line set? Uh, maybe you bought a used canopy and uh, it already has a certain amount of jumps on that line set. Uh, and usually when you get used gear, the information is a little bit, it's not always precise unless somebody keeps actual track of how many jumps that canopy or that line set has. And we all know that's not true. So um, roughly 200, 300 jumps, it's what you might get out of a line set, a brand new one, uh, but it, it also depends on many factors. So one of the things that uh, plays into when to change your line set is what the what the type of line it is. What are the line types? There are different types of lines, so like uh, HMA, Vectran, Spectra, Dacron, um, that uh, most manufacturers use. The most common ones used are so, uh, Microline, uh, which is Spectraline, it's the same type of line, it's a treated, coated line. Uh, Vectran, HMA, uh, and Dacron, which you will see mostly in student gear or in larger uh, or bigger canopies. The difference in materials will also play um, into the time you have to change your line set. Uh, for example, if you have a micro line or a spectral line line set on your on your canopy, it might last longer compared to Vectran or HMA. But again, it depends on the type of canopy. It depends on how much you're loading the canopy. It depends on the jump environment where you pack your canopy. If it's a really arid or a desert or you use a lot of sand, it will basically cause wear on it. Um, uh, what uh, how how do you care for your lines and your and your uh, uh, equipment uh, and of obviously like I said before your wing loading with higher wing loadings mostly in high performance canopies you will see more wear quickly also the line types on uh, those type of canopies are a little bit different they're either HMA or Vectran and they're thinner kind of like this so. Um, you probably get 200 jumps tops out of a line set, a brand new line set, because you're loading it more and there's some more wear. Uh, and um, so that plays a, a, a huge part on, on those lines. But on a normal, everyday, intermediate to advanced canopy or beginner in, intermediate canopy, uh, like a Sabre, a Pilot, uh, or, or a Sapphire or Crossfire, you probably use either uh, Microline or uh, you will use HMA or Vectran. Main differences is with Vectran and HMA, you will see a lot of wear, uh, something kind of like this. And with uh, Spectraline or uh, Microline, which is the same thing, you won't, you can't see actually wear, but these lines are coated, uh, so the, they last a little bit longer, but they actually shrink or stretch in time. So how do you know that it's time to change that line set if you have a spectral line or a micro line line set. So the first thing when you have a, a micro line or a spectral line line set, you will notice probably weird openings. When your openings start getting weird with a turn or kind of snappy, it might be time to change that line set. It might, you might want to start measuring and get your, your, with your rigger to measure your, your lines to see if there's any stretching or shrinkage of the lines. Um, and then go from there. Uh, but that's pretty much the first sign you, you'll you get if you have a canopy that you always pack it yourself and you know how it opens and you've been jumping it for a while. Uh, you, you catch it really quick when that canopy starts opening really, really funny. You know it's probably time to change that line set. The line trim also uh, plays a lot into really good uh, and on heading opening. So yeah, line trim lines shrinking or stretching that affects the trim that will affect your opening other line types like hma or vectran they won't shrink or stretch but they will just break 
Uh, you don't want to get to the point that they actually break because uh, that will get you in probably a, a different scenario in an emergency situation where you probably have to get rid of that canopy and land your reserve. So you will see a lot of wear on the lines, fraying on the lines. What you'll see probably first are the break to toggle, which have the more uh, the most friction uh, on, on the canopy, especially if you use your toggles a lot. Um, so you'll see a lot of fraying like these here. I got some pictures here so you can see them. Uh, and uh, you, when it's when you see that amount of fraying and uh, that amount of wear, I would definitely recommend getting with your rigger and changing that line set. So how do we spot what to look for? What, how do I know I have to change them? So when you get a brand new line set, a brand new canopy, you'll probably see if it's a Vectran or HMA, you'll see something like that really really smooth uh, if it's micro line you'll see something like that really white nice and pearly uh, and you'll see your attachments look like that um, check for fraying like this check for uh, wear which will cause fraying uh, also look I, there's parts that people don't realize that have a ton of wear uh, and these are the attachment points at the connector links. So at the part that your uh, risers connect with your lines, with the connector link, the and you don't see it because they're either covered or they're uh, under, basically under the, uh, the, uh, the soft link or the repeat link. And that's one of the parts, and especially in high performance canopies that are loaded with a lot of uh, weight, you'll see a ton of wear there. I've seen um, what well, canopy, a uh, high performance canopy that, you know, the lines looked decent. They were probably close to replacing, but once we turned the, uh, the, the, the lines and were the attached to the soft link, they were holding by threads. So that's um, the part that wears the most uh, on, on um, high performance canopies. So keep that in mind, check everything from the attachment points up to the um, line attachment. Obviously have the uh, rigor inspect that, but uh, the way you know in the field that you probably should not jump that canopy if you check that. Uh, again, this is canopies are really loaded and uh, that are uh, hard performance in most cases and they have a really thin line set let's say like a or like a Vectran 300 or um uh hma or like really thin can uh lines uh that um are usually good for 200 jump stops so keep that in mind All right, boys and girls, this is it for today. Please like and subscribe, give us a, a hit that bell to get our latest notifications and stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. And if you need to order a new line set, I will leave a link in the description below where you can find uh, all the line sets that uh, uh, you can order. Uh, keep in mind that these are not in stock. These have to be ordered directly to the manufacturer and depending on how high their volumes, uh, their production volumes are, they, these might take a few weeks, up to six weeks in some cases or more. So keep that in mind when ordering licenses, we do not keep them in stock. Uh, so order ahead of time if you need them a specific date. Stay safe.